Ashley from Not A True Reviews and today I'm here with Spice Breeze. If you're not familiar with this, this is one of my favorite cooking subscriptions. So basically Spice Breeze takes you to a different exotic locale every month um, and uh, you get all the spices you need to create uh, each recipe. Um, so the recipes are from different regions of the world and there's a little bit of a description. You do get to choose them, which is really cool too. Um, all the spices are organic, not non-GMO, all that good stuff. They do have a few different subscription options. There is a choose two, that's $9.90 a month. Then there's the choose three for $13.90. And then there's the choose two for family, which is two, uh, what they call kits, which is the recipe and all the spices included. Um, but the portion size is larger. Um, it feeds a family and it, that is also $13.90. Um, so we're just going to go open it up and get right in. I do create one of these recipes each month. I will post um, my review on my blog of it, of the whole thing. And then I'll bring the recipe to life on there, whichever one I choose to do. So we're just going to get in here and see what's going on. All right, guys. It always smells good. It comes in this like little folder. Ta-da! You open it up. It says happy holidays yay um discover 1001 flavors for dinner we love to guide you through the kitchens of the world um just tells you a little bit about spice breeze and then here are our recipes so we'll look at these first this is the choose three and then we'll look at the spices that go along with them so first off we have the dukkha which is an egyptian culinary spice kit Dukkha is an Egyptian mixture of spices and nuts. Sesame and hazelnuts are most common. Pistachios or walnuts are great alternatives. The ingredients are toasted to develop a more intense flavor. Optionally, add rosemary or oregano. Um, this requires lamb chops, but you can substitute with chicken breast, pork, fish, filet mignon, anything you want, really. Um, so that's an option, but I do like, it's hard to get lamb in my area. Um, and I do like to try to keep it authentic. Um, so... Probably not that one. Oh, but I'll show you the spices for it. It's, by the way, it smells amazing. So there are um, two packets for that. It's this one right here and this one right here, which looks like little sesame seeds. All right, second uh, recipe is Holiday Feast, which is a European culinary spice kit. Roasted goose with potato dumplings and holiday spice red cabbage is one of the traditional holiday feasts in Northern Europe. The preparation is faster and easier with gnocchi and chicken or turkey. You can save even more time without gravy. The juicy sauce out of the oven is scrumptious by itself. The key ingredient is the herb, herb mugwort. It's also beneficial for digestion. Ooh. So in these two packets, we have mugwort in the first one. And then the second one, we have juniper berries, cloves, and bay leaf. Okay, so I'll show you guys that here. So in this one, this is mugwort. I don't know if you've ever had this. It's kind of like a little... Text, it's got a lot of texture to it. And then here's our bay leaves and the juniper berries and that stuff in our second packet. All right, so our final recipe, where did I put it? <laughs> is chashushuli, chashushuli, which is a Georgian uh, culinary spice kit. Chashushuli, or stewed in Georgian, is a satisfyingly rich meat and tomato stew resembling European goulash, combining veal beef, chicken, or pork with tomatoes, onions, garlic, and a generous seasoning of herbs and tomatoes to simmer in broth or water renders an intense, flavorful, and aromatic dish. Ideal for chilly evenings. It is important to first fry the meat before adding to the to and stewing with the other ingredients. So in our chashuli package, packet, I should say, right here, this has like cumin, it smells like cumin, something really good. This actually smells really good. I think I want to make this. Um, in this pack, we have garlic, coriander, methi, paprika, caraway, chili, black pepper, and summer savory. For this, we veal beef or lamb stew, uh, onions, tomatoes, garlic, chopped cilantro or parsley, broth, butter, and salt. I mean, it's a very simple recipe, but it looks like it's going to be delicious. And stew in the winter is perfect. I think I'm going to make this, actually. Um, I actually have everything on hand, too, that I need to make it. Um, so if you're interested in checking out my full review where I will bring one of these recipes to life, check that out down below at my blog. If you want to check out Spice Breeze, please check them out, too. Um, also, if you uh, want to tell me which recipe to make, let me know down in the description box. Put a comment. Let me know. Um, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I hope you're cooking with your family and having a great time. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.